top of the Christian. I don't know what to tell you, son. How many of you got a hit on, in game one against Orange Lutheran? Raise your hand. One, two, three hits. How many, how many hits did we get in game two? They no hit us until like towards the end. And then we had how many hits yesterday? Nine hits. And guess what? One guy had three of them. That's why we're doing this today. I need your effort, a better effort. Do you understand? Let's go early show so we can get that done. We gotta be a million percent on that, okay? Let's go, quickly. Uh, obviously, it was a great progression with that group. That was a, a, a very mature group. Luckily for us, we, we got to finish it off the right way. And that was unbelievable with that group, for sure. It's been a whirlwind. It's been exciting. Um, you know, the, the, the task of, of having to reteach and start over is something that excites me. As seniors, we lost a lot of guys that we can't replace, so we we just got to be ourselves, and then with a great coaching staff behind us, we have an excellent shot at repeating. We just played uh, yesterday, um, especially the big teams like Olu, um, La Mirada, those kind of teams, they're all waiting for us because uh, everyone wants to play the national champions. Really what we're just trying to do is get them to fight the sun. Nice catch! Work their angle and use their glove or their body positioning to, to try and catch the ball to the side out of the sun. Okay, again, what's the focus of the week? Because we haven't been able to hit very well, is some execution. So we'll be asking some guys to do some hit and runs today and some bunting today and those kinds of things. You got it? Let me ask you guys this. When you hit the ball to right field, more times than not when you hit it to right field or the oppo side for you, is the ball in the air or on the ground? Yeah. Almost always in the air, Coach. right? Think about that. That's exactly right. So if, if, if most balls that I hit to the opposite side are in the air and I need to hit a ball in the air, why do we get so jumpy? When more times than not, the ball is going to be in the air that way. So let's stay through the ball and focus on hitting it that way. Hang on real quick. Hey, you feel like you're, you're kind of flipping at the ball? Yeah, like you're not using your lower half. That ball right there and the balls that you're pulling, you're having that little side spin. You're just not using your lower half. Those balls, you should hit those things on the houses. Okay? Just use your lower half. Good, that's it. Brett Wozniak's uh, left-handed pitcher, first baseman, uh, three-year starter, um, committed to Kansas State University. Um, will be an integral part of our, our success this year, he'll be uh, our number one starter. He'll hit in the middle of our order um, and hopefully bring, which he's done so far, some great leadership. Um, kind of elements that bring the team is, uh, is a competitive mentality. On the mound, I'm a bulldog, and that's what Coach Weber says. And, uh, you know, I just want my team to win, want myself to be successful. Our catcher, uh, Luke Davis, uh, sophomore, committed to USC. Um, is going to be the backbone of our, uh, of, of you know, the middle of our lineup hitter for sure. Um, switch hitter, uh, unbelievable um, hitter, unbelievable baseball IQ, um, and so he'll do a good job of helping with the with the running game and doing a good job uh, in the middle of our lineup. I just try to be a leader as a catcher. I mean, I have a pretty good arm, so that helps. Um, but I try to get a good. Good bond with all my pitchers, so uh, I think I'm a good leader behind the plate. And hitting-wise, I think I bring bring some power. Um, try to hit for contact and average too. Very nice. Yeah, go yourself. Get it out of there early. Noah Carter, who's a three-year starter, who was our left fielder for the last two years, and this year we're asking him to be our third baseman, and he's done a good job with that thus far and uh, he'll hit four hole for us all year long. Offensively, I pretty much try to drive runs in, do the best I can. I'm not really that big of like a short game kind of guy. Defensively, I don't make a lot of errors. I, I try to work, work a, lot, a lot more on my defense, especially this year because, because uh, I'm playing infield. Jason Blood, last year was a junior third baseman, uh, didn't really pitch. 
Left-handed hitter, not a real good swing of a bat. However, um, we put him down on the JV team. He did a great job down there and kind of established himself as a little bit of a pitcher. And that thing has carried on. And now he is, uh, without a doubt, our number two pitcher. And, you know, he'll throw 88 to 90 uh, with a good sink. Pitching wise, I think I bring a fresh new arm to the rotation, considering it's my first year pitching for this team. I uh, don't have a lot of innings on my arm, so it makes it more live. And offensively, I bring a person who's going to give you a tough at bat and foul off pitches and put the ball where it needs to be played. Our left fielder now, uh, DH and Peter Worth, who's committed to Texas Christian University. Thick kid, lots of strength, um, can drive the ball in the gap, and he'll hit fifth or sixth after Noah and Waz and him, and he'll be a staple for us in the lineup. I've tried to be more of a uh, adaptable guy, understand what the coaches are saying more, what they want me to do in my role as a team, and just doing anything I can help for the program.